Chérie, ça va? Oh, ça ne va pas? Ok, ma sweetheart. The surgery was successful, okay? We were able to remove all the glasses in your skull. But I'm afraid your face was pretty damaged. But we were able to locate and stop all internal bleedings. Our plastic surgeon will soon be here to put you through the procedure of face surgery. You'll be fine, okay? It's okay, my sherry. You don't need to humbug yourself. Please, uh, just take the baby and uh, all the things. You see me in your own face, okay? I will. taking him all this time. Don't worry, he said he was gonna come. Trust me, he's gonna come. Oh. Hi. Gosh. Gosh, Lucy. Lucy, see, my daughter is looking so beautiful. She's all grown up. Yeah, just like you. I have to go and see her. <laughs> Are you serious? Yeah. Just like that. Okay, let's assume you do go back. What are you going to tell them was the reason for your disappearance? Especially him and your daughter. Gosh, there are your face. They won't even recognize you. Look. I have no idea where to start from. I mean, Jay, guaranteed. I messed up the only good things in my life. It's even a miracle I survived the accident. I know this sounds like a cliche, but I think this is my second chance to make this whole thing right again. I will dive my head in it first and make up with the rest on my way. That's the closest of a plan I have right now. I really can't pretend I know what you're going through. But it's a good start. So when do you intend to go back? In a few months' time. On my 27th birthday. A new birthday. A new beginning. So soon, I'm gonna miss you. Did you, did you get it? Did you? Did you? Where's your manners? Sorry, Dad. Good afternoon. Did you? Get what? Daddy. Okay. Cool. So, what's your hurry in getting the pictures printed? My album. I want my photo album to be complete before Mommy comes back. Honey. It's her birthday today. And how did you remember? Isn't that obvious? Every year you get new calendars. You circle 28 June and write the last birthday. Dad, I know what you told me. You said you don't think she's ever going to come back. I don't want her to think about her. But I can't help it. I want her to come back. Honey, why didn't you then tell me you were thinking of her? Because it hurts you and it hurts me when you're good. Come on, come here, baby. <laughs> now listen up. Huh? Why didn't you go ahead and tell me? You can tell me anything. Regardless if it hurts me or not, no secrets, darling. I'm big, I can handle it. Huh? She's coming back. I know it, I'm a half of my life. Okay, I understand and I believe you. So, who's my Gita? Hi. Who's my Gita again? Hi. I didn't hear it, I didn't hear it. My Gita again? Hi. You're my Gita!
afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, my dear. See what I brought for you. Ah! Uh -huh. See? <laughs> Thank you. Uh -huh. So how was good today? Fine. Mm -hmm. And you? Have you gone into the kitchen and seen what's there? Mom, I'm sorry, but I'm just coming back from school. I'll watch them. Will you shut up? Why don't you watch those things before going to school this morning? I was late and it was only breakfast dishes, which were just teacups and bread plates. I don't know it made the kitchen look dirty. Look at her mouth. Who told you it's only 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 chickens and bread plates that are there? Eh? Listen, listen, dinner plates, lunch plates are equally there. But mom, it's not my turn to wash yesterday's dishes. Will you touch about this? This is your stupid mouth. Will He's watching a lot to do so. Eh? Madam, don't just call my name. Be quiet, Panama for now. Don't just call me. We may have an appointment too. Listen, will you carry this your small buttocks? Go into that kitchen. I will watch every little bit of thing that you see there, whether it is your turn or not. And let her wait. Be fast about it. Alright? Mm -hmm. Because you're going to, after washing those things, you will go to the market and you buy all the things we need for lunch. If you don't, nothing will pass through your mouth today. Do you hear me? Stupid girl. And if you look at me like that, I'll slap the daylight out of your eyes. Foolish girl. Uh, hmm? <laughs> Do you like those things I bought? Mommy, this is very cold. Is it? Very, very cold. <laughs> yeah, I know what you like. <laughs> Mommy, this is what you're touching. Okay? I'm not going to give no, you. No, I don't, I don't want to. Uh -huh. Me, I'm even trying to resist. This is very cheap. But if you give me small, I'll take it. Hey, how are you? Where are you coming from? What is it? Where are you going to and where are you coming from? Tell me, tell me, tell me. Mr. JK, please, one question at a time. Anyway, the answer to your question is that I'm going to Oh, come on, sorry. So why didn't I see you in church on Sunday? Because I didn't come. Why didn't you come? I attended another church. I was in the mood to see your so-called popular friends who just come to church to show themselves or listen to the word of God. Oh, come on, come on. That's not true. That's not true at all. That's not true. So um, where are you going to so I can drop you off in my car? Point of correction. Not your car, but your dad's. And you're not the one driving, please. Use English correctly. And thanks, but no thanks, I can walk. <laughs> hey, 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 come on. Why do you hate me so much? Huh? I Why do you hate, hate me? you, and also I need to leave. As you can see, I have important things to do. Don't let me spoil your phone because your rich friends are waiting for you. You don't need local people like this. Yeah, man, I just. <laughs> 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 no, well, let me tell you something. That girl, man, I, I really do like that girl, bro. You are all that I have. Since my husband, your father, died, we have been eating from hand to mouth, hand to mouth. And that is not good enough. Eh? Look at this house, if not because your father built it. We have been paying rent. My, my little pepe shop, cannot train both of you not to even think of feeding you. So that is why I want both of you to work harder. Especially you, Dela, because you are the eldest and I want you to act like one. But Mama, we're not yet done with secondary school, so we can't get a decent paying job yet. I know, my daughter, you're right. I know you're not done with secondary school yet. That is why I want you to be very nice to Mr. Ibuka. 
Eh, so that he can he can help us even more. Eh? Look at your sister Chinilo. See what she has been doing in this house. Through Mr. Ojuku. Just by being nice to him. Eh? You should be ashamed of yourself. Because you're the elder. Mama, if you call sleeping with an old man, old enough to be our grandfather being nice, then count me out. I'd rather drop out of school. Mama, if people were alive to hear you say this, how would they take it? You're the connoisseur at church, yo. For Christ's sake, you've turned Chinelo into a prostitute. Eh? Dara? If I talk now, the, you, you will say I've insulted you. Eh? Now you're insulting, Mama. And you're calling me a prostitute. Why are you calling me a prostitute now? Mm, maybe I shall sound more sexy. Hey. Mama! Mama, did you hear her? Mama, what now? What now? Chinelo, don't mind. Just what now? Don't mind her now. She is very jealous of you. And see, very soon, oh, she's going to start paying her own school fees. And taking care of herself. Better. And as long as she proves stubborn, she keeps on proving stubborn in this house, I will make this house uncomfortable for her. Better. Mama, let me go and check before she will steal my things. Let her go. Let her go, honey. Ah, you said it to me. See that? She's there, oh. Ah, this is beautiful, oh. I'm lucky today, oh. You don't like her, how? Why? You know well, oh, this beautiful thing you're saying like this. Obanji ke. Is this how Obanji is? What she? It's the street now. It's quiet. Yeah, I like this girl. Right, let's go now, guys. Come on, let's go. Come down, let's go now. Why do you want me to go alone? Hello. What is it? What are you doing here? I'm not told you I was here. Hey, 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 one question at a time. First of all, this is a stream where everybody comes in and throws something in it freely. Huh? And second of all, how can I misunderstand your beautiful figure from afar? So when I saw that, I had to come over here. So can I sit down? No, Jay, I'm not in the mood for this, your flamboyant jeans. I want to be left alone, as you can see. Listen, you're not busy, you're very free. I can see that. I can see you're free. Come on, my angel. I know you're wondering why I said that. It's true. Look at your angelic face. Pretty face. Beautiful. I still admire it so much. So, why are you crying? I'm not crying. You are crying. Oh, come on. It's obvious. You're crying, darling. You are. Listen, remember they say a problem shared is half solved. Hmm? Tell me, I can keep a secret. Please, can we talk about something else? Okay, what do we talk about? Hmm? Oh, yes! Let's talk about how... Why you hate me so much. Why? And then, let's talk about how I hate... No, I don't hate you. How I love you so much. Why? Why is that? What sort of mystery is it? Tell me. Tell me! <laughs> Where are you coming from? From a friend's house. Since when did you start having friends? The only friend I know, I want to know, is Mr. Ebuka, who by the way is in the parlor waiting for you. Now go right in, go, go inside, go right inside hey, and see him. Stupid girl! What oh. are you doing here? Oh, darling. How is the that I don't want to hear? Oh, well, you are back. I've been here for the past two hours, waiting to see your beautiful face before I travel to Dubai tomorrow. You have seen it now, go. Oh, look. <laughs> Wait, uh, there are you see? This is just something that you just have to learn. Oh, what? Why did you do that? How much have I done? I don't like you and that you can't have me. Please leave if I do something stupid. Is that why you did that? Huh? Didn't your mother tell you what I am to this family? Huh? 
What's happening? Did you see what your daughter has done to me? I just came closer to tell her that I'm here to see. She sent a very powerful blow on my chest and I fell into this very place. She did that? There. Are you mad? How can you, how can you give an elderly person like this a blow? You want to kill? Is this all the respect I taught you? Mother, please. I said please. Which respect, eh? Tell me. I should sleep with a man old enough to be my father just because he has money over my dead body. If Chinolo does it, doesn't mean I will. And as for you, the next time you come looking for me again, just consider yourself dead. Could Jay ever forgive me? You're not 17 anymore. You are 27 and have to right your wrongs. Turn your life around. I'm sorry, I ran out actually. I, I forgot the most important thing that brought me to the supermarket. I, I had a legend's message, that's why. Oh, great. Um, I am uh, Jay Kelechi and uh, that's my daughter, <laughs> Jenny. Hey, she's extremely beautiful. Thank you. Hi, my name is Cindy Okoye. I know I acted so strangely back then. Can I buy you both lunch? Sure, I'm very hungry. Oh, come on. <laughs> That's so odd. <laughs> I mean, we're fine, darling. Don't, don't, don't do that. Come on, Dad. That's rude. You don't turn down offers like that. Yes, my pleasure. You're your pleasure. Why don't I go pick up what I left in there and join you guys? Are you new in town? Yes, baby. I'm brand new. You're beautiful. Thank you so much, darling. Did you move here alone? Yeah. How alone? Don't mind her, she's a curious kid. <laughs> and the town champ for that matter, so. Do you like chicken and cheese? Because we got best chicken and cheese in this town. Daddy, please, let's go, I'm hungry. Oh, God. <laughs> um, so, um, how do you want to do it? You um, you look kind of like strange to me. Have, have we met? What do you mean? I mean like... Um, familiar? Yeah, familiar. Why don't I go with what I do? So um, how would you do it? You could drive in my car or come in behind me. Oh, okay, beautiful. It's okay. Oh, great. You taught me how, remember? <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> Let's see, um, there you go. Here, there you go. Just stay where my eyes can see you. I'll, I'll get in touch with you in a moment. Right. Thank you. Oh. Your daughter is remarkable. Yeah, and expensive too. <laughs> She's worth it. Well, great if you say so. So, um, are you a mom? No, I am not. No, I'm not. Right. Just you've got a whole life ahead of you. Just take your time when you're ready. <laughs> Am I that obvious? No, it's just a just a flash of longing, you know, that only a parent can recognize it. You must be a great father. I'm sure you're so proud of her. Mm -hmm. Yeah, really am. Um, so what are you here for? Well, um, I was transferred here and to work permanently. Oh great, it's a pretty place, it's a nice place. And race kits. And, uh, it's 
find a safe place. So say we have to warn your daughter to stay inside of the people in the restaurant. I mean, those you even know. Well, uh, let's just say I am an overprotective dad. Listen, so. no town is completely safe. There's travel everywhere, and it can happen any time, any day. True. Well, true, you're right about that, you know. So, um, do you have a family, any relative or anybody? Not really. Oh, really? So, um, where are you from? I, I don't like you asking me a lot of questions, you know. I, I, don't, I don't like that. I, I hate it. Hey, why are you looking at me like that? Well, uh, there's just this strangeness about you that I mm, didn't come in terms with it initially, though, but I think right now I am comfortable with it. Let's just say. You're scaring me. Let's say. That's the both of us. <laughs> <laughs> giving me this hatred attitude and time I try to talk to you or correct you. Eh? Why? Eh? Dara. Dara. Uh -huh. I don't hate you. Eh? I don't hate you. In fact, I actually love you. But the thing is that the... Mama has tried. That's one thing you don't understand. Me and you together, we are supposed to be helping her. Eh? Me, I just... I try to support Mama the way me I can. Just condemn me as if I'm being one big thing. Huh? I'm following not be one man. No? I'm just following Mr. Juku. That's all. It's not like that. There are so many ways you can help her out. Like doing minor jobs to meet up. We don't need to sell ourselves so cheap. You know that. <laughs> ah, there are, there are. Eh? You know the only minor job you go do. If you, what kind of minor job do you want to do that can support this family? Tell me. My sister, leave that talk and beg, leave it. Just leave it. Eh, uh -huh. Dera. What about that rich man's son? They said that has been following you up and down. Dera. What is his name again, sir? Jakey. That rich man's son. I hear he has been following you up and down. Sister. That boy is a very good catch. Very, very good catch. After you be doing your eye as if you don't know anything, you be doing marine Jesus. Eh? Sister, I heard something. I heard he has a very, very fine brother. Hmm? You don't want to hook me up. It's not fair. Your sister up now. Eh? One name mad. 
Look at your sister. Now what for you? We're saying something else. You're saying another. Oh. Can't you think of something else other than men? Sorry, Bobby. Virgin Maria. Sorry, sorry. Bye-bye. They taught you how to be like a monkey. How to be quick. How to steal? What happened to two thousand naira? Mommy, I didn't even see your money. I'm gonna take it. You didn't see what? I think you're bad. You're crazy. Just look at me. Stand up. Hold it. Put your shoe. Put your shoe. Hold it. It's heavy. It is. It is my money. It is my money. You idiot. Oh, you're running away. Run. I said run. You come back and meet me here. Anuofia. Onyoshi. Only. Che. I'm not safe in this house again. I'm not safe in this house. I don't know what I did to my mom. She accuses and beats me at every opportunity. And she will always support her. I wonder if anyone in this world loves me. <laughs> don't, don't, don't say that. Don't say that. I, I, I love you. I love you so much. I love you so, so, so much. Don't. Pregnant. Is it true? Yes. Mama, she's pregnant. She's always sleeping every morning and she's always vomiting. Are you not pregnant? Come and see, wait. And she's always going to see that boy that they call you. Ah. What is that? Mary Jesus. Ah. Are you not pregnant? Tara, so it is true that you are pregnant. Tara, you're going to leave my house. Go! You're going to leave my house today! If it makes me jacking you out of this bed and toying outside! I said, get up! Get up! Come on! 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 Given birth already. Don't worry, I promise I'll marry you. And everything, everything would, would definitely sort itself out. Hmm? Sorry. Good morning, my dear. Well, then, sir. Mr. J. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, my dear. Cindy. So, you know each other? Yes, sir. But I'm surprised she's here. <laughs> Cindy here is our new employee. Okay. She's one of our top managers in our head office and has been transferred here to work with us. 
Wow. She's going to work directly under you. Cindy. Sir. This is Mr. J. Kelechi, the marketing manager. He's a very nice man. When you look at me, you know he's a nice man. Who knows only his job and his beautiful daughter. Let me leave two of you together by two. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much, sir. Yes. Um, I'll see you, though. Thank you. Okay. Wow. Wow. What a freaking coincidence. I hope my working here wouldn't disturb you. <laughs> disturb me? Well, yes, uh, but in a very nice way. It's easier said than done. <laughs> well, if you say so. Oh, yes. I said I was going to tell you this anytime I see you again. What is it? Um, it's about how I actually felt. You know, the other day it was so awesome. So great, I, I never actually felt this way before. It's a great feeling. And as much as we might try to like cover it up, I don't think it's going to go away. The next plot. Daddy, daddy, daddy. Oh, baby. Mwah. How are you? How was your spelling test today? Fine. Oh, really? And how good is fine? Mm, I got a B, but don't worry. I didn't stick out my tongue behind my teacher's back like last time. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's nice, just the way that he touched you, right? It's good. Hi, why are you here? Jenny, that was, that was rude. Actually, this is my office. But I thought this was where my daddy works. <laughs> why? <laughs> Excuse me. Sorry about it, Miss Cindy. You know, the kid, we just... Just excuse us, I, I want to have a chat with her and do some more work at some point. Thank you, huh? Well, hello, sunshine. <laughs> How are you today? I'm good. So great, awesome. I've got a proposal here for you. Can we go out this evening to celebrate your work in here? To celebrate a new partner? Jay, I am sorry, my desk is full and I have a lot of catching up to do. Oh really? <laughs> I can see that. You're a hard working lady. That's great. But at the same time, a night off won't kill you. Or will it? Going out with you today will actually show how unserious person I am. It is not good for a first impression. And as I said, my desk is full and I have a lot of catching up to do. <laughs> listen, darling, listen. It's like you've forgotten. <laughs> I am the only person that can help you in catching up in this whole entire office. And I enjoy doing that. Every good place around here. I am sorry. I can see you don't take no for an answer. But I'm sorry to bust you up. I'm staying over there, Capital N. Oh. Tell me, Cindy, what do you do in your spare periods? Well, let's say I like to read a lot, and I also go to a quiet place to think. Oh, right. Good. Excuse me. What's, what's how come about this car? You strike me like a very gentle lady. Yeah, I, I am. As my mischievous younger sister, you know, she actually pushed me to the floor when we were kids. Yeah, and I had a deep cut. I know. I understand. I know. I'm sorry about how it all went that period. But it's okay. So, um, I, I also have a car. I know. You took the car without your dad's permission, you know. You could have killed yourself that day. 
know. That was, you know, that was one of the scariest day of my life. You know, I'm not sure if it was the blood that was gushing out of me or my my girlfriend Chidera, who was by my side, screaming to, for, to death for fear of losing me. You know, and all what just happened at that point was just so. Come to think of it, I can't. How did you How did you know about this? I, I can't remember ever such a discussion with you. Yeah. Well, let's say that car brings a lot of memories to you. So you told someone who told someone who told me. That's all. So tell me, how much did you pay that little princess of mine to tell you about my secrets? And when did you do that? <laughs> you know, I have my little way around your princess. And for the day she told me was the first time I met you guys and you were actually going to buy us ice cream. I had a little glass of time with her, that's so. So tell me, what else did she tell you about me? Well, she told me how we made flux around you. <laughs> Great. Oh God, God, just help me so I don't kill this girl tonight. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> she... Please don't blow our little cover, please. You know, kids want to know if you can be trusted. And they also want to know if you can keep a secret. So please don't spare a little friendship. You just saved her. You you just did. You saved her, sincerely. So, can we toast? For a great time we'll be having working together. Oh, okay. Unless those for new partners and mm -hmm. new friendship. It's gonna go on on and on and on. Okay, you wanna have one? Yeah. No. Okay. Come on. Hello. Hi. Are you looking for anything in particular? Yeah, um, just a few t-shirts. T-shirts? You have a whole lot with them. I think this should do. Check it out. Yeah. How much is it? Problem? No, no, not at all. It's just that I've not quite seen you around, you know, part of my curiosity. Well, I'm putting you around here. I just moved in from Cameroon to this place. Sorry, you know, I'm just going to go straight to the point. You know, I usually don't do this, but you look so much like my sister. The same mannerism, the way you talk. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, it would be a delight to meet my act like. <laughs> Why is your sister? She's gone. Go. Go like dead. I really can say that for sure, you know. It's a long story, Cindy. Uh, I don't know, since you're new around, probably we could exchange contacts and I'll show you around town. That way I'll tell you more. That's if you don't mind. Oh, sure. Okay? Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Hey, Jamie, how 
you? I'm feeling good, thank you. Oh, your dad told me you weren't feeling too so fine. Is that what you've been praying for? For me to fall sick so that you can go out with my dad as long as you wish without me spoiling your fun? No, sweetheart. Where's my dad and why are you putting on his t-shirt? No woman has ever passed a night in my dad's room. How much more wear his t-shirt? Please, is my dad in his room? Yeah, but um, he's in the shower. Thanks, I'll see you later. I'm sorry if I was rude, I'm not always this rude. Spaghetti you are preparing? Yes, baby. I hope you don't mind. It was the only thing I found in here. Oh, I love spaghetti. It makes me want to drool. I hate spaghetti. Honey, what's that? I said I hate spaghetti. What are you saying? You used to love spaghetti with me. No, Dad. I never loved it. I just used to eat it because you love it. Then technically, you don't hate spaghetti. Hmm? So you're going to eat spaghetti today. That's fine. No, I don't want to eat it today. Baby, okay, what do you want to eat? I'll prepare for you. Thanks for the offer. I don't want to eat anything today. Please, I was talking to my dad, not you. Jennifer Kadechi, what's wrong with you? Nothing, Dad. So you're going to eat today's spaghetti and to Cindy took her time to prepare this great meal. You're going to eat it. What has spaghetti done to you? I don't know. You better stop being rude this morning or I get upset with you. You hear me? Huh? Now can you apologize to Miss Cindy? Auntie Cindy, I'm sorry. I just woke up at the wrong side of the bed. And secondly, on Saturdays, I usually spend time with my dad. He promised we were going to the beach today. So when I saw it, I just knew that would be cancelled. Baby, no, it won't be cancelled. I'm leaving right now. Oh, you don't... Listen. Come on, darling. Come here. Listen, baby. Uh, remember when you used to say, uh, Daddy, we can go out with some other company? Hmm? When you say, sometimes, Daddy, you're boring, you this, you this, you that. Hmm? Remember that? So see, young um, Uncle Cindy here. She's she's a good company. Look at her. She's awesome. Huh? Just give her an opportunity so we can go out together. I bet she's gonna be a great actor. Hmm? Uncle Cindy, do you mind following us to the beach? Is that a proposal to follow you guys to the beach? Will you go to the beach with my dad and I? Sure. I'll do anything for you, darling. Oh, great. Okay, let me go dress up. I've got the breakfast spaghetti is my favorite food. So looking forward to having it. <laughs> <laughs> oh. yeah, okay, okay. That's what I go through every day, don't worry. Come on, no, it's just a little girl that's what you do sometimes. So, how's growing up like for you? Why do you want to know? Just being curious. Well, if you must know, uh, my dad, um, my parents are strict. My dad is a strong politician. And then um, my brother, Richard, is a far cry from any positive change. He's a bully. He's a, I don't know, stubborn and all that. And uh, for me, just decided to bury my head in my books. That's what I did. Mm. And Jenny's mom? You must know. Jenny's mom got pregnant at the age of um, 17. And because of my dad's echo and political status, whatnot, and what, he suggested that I, you know, give Jenny over for adoption, which um, I refused. And at some point, um, trouble erupted here and there. And um, Jenny's mom left. Jay, we leave you here barely one year. All you do is bring shame to this home, running around town with that slut of yours, against my wish. I'm sorry, Daddy. I'm, I'm truly very sorry. This is no time to be sorry. Do you understand that slut has abandoned you with that baby? I'm going to leave you with two options. Take this baby to the motherless baby's home, or travel to abroad for further education, or keep the baby 
and I will disown and disinherit you. No, 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 sweetheart. You won't do a thing like that. Woman, will you shut up? I'm, I'm sorry, Daddy. I'm truly very sorry. That child is my responsibility. I can't Son, abandon. That's the dog. <laughs> Woman, if you live here, consider your position taken by another. Mr. Edwards took us in, and then I was fortunate that I finished my wire by then, and I sat for um, a scholarship exam, which I passed and rounded up my university. Um, I did a lot of jobs here and there and all that, until I was able to secure myself a very proper job. And, um, while I was doing that, Ms. Edward was really there, taking care of Jenny and all that for me. And, uh, I finally stood to my feet. That's the story of my boring life. So, will you ever forgive this woman if she ever comes back? Before, yes. Uh, right now, I'm gradually falling for another woman. Hmm? I just want to know. <laughs> I will tell you a bit later. Jamie, okay. Oh. You, <laughs> you. What do you think? I didn't like it. I actually love it. Where did you acquire this knowledge from? Thanks for the compliment, say. <laughs> well, I would say I read a lot. I meet a lot of interesting people. And also, I travel a lot. But most importantly, I, let's say, hard work. Hard work? Yes, sir. That's interesting. Yes, sir. That's good. I've been calling you for the past one hour, and you didn't deem it fit to call me back. Nancy, I'm in the middle of a meeting. So why didn't you come out for lunch? Like I said, are you blind or something? Can't you see my boss and my partner? Oh yeah, I'm I can busy. see your partner. The one you've been going around town with in different restaurants. You still do meetings with her too? Please, Nancy, I, I'm busy right now. I, I'll, I would rather we do this later. Oh, you're busy? You've seen me who is not busy. Let me tell you something. Sweetie, you know how busy I am, okay? I am the youngest single bank manager in town, yet it's no child's play. I still squeeze out time to keep to our appointments. Maybe when you're less busy, I'll still be available. I'm sorry, sir. Mm -hmm. I apologize, I'm sorry. That's the last I heard of my sister. And that's why I can't tell if she's dead or alive. Wow. She must have really gone through hell. You can only imagine. So, with all this you're telling me, you seem to have hated your sister so much. Not at all. Why was that? No. I couldn't have hated her. Dara was my only sibling. I mean, I couldn't have hated her. I just enjoyed my mom's attention. I just enjoyed being my mom's favorite. I 
admit I was selfish and useless, but I never knew she was going to get to this, honestly. So, where is your mom now? She's gone. She passed away a few years after Chidera's disappearance. Sorry. You know, Cindy, I barely knew you. Here I am, spilling all my guts to you. It's just that, meeting you, our spirit just connected immediately. I felt and I still feel very comfortable talking to you. I can't explain why. Aside the fact that you look so much like my sister, the same mannerism and gestures. But you know, I just feel you have a very good heart. You don't need to explain yourself. I understand. I don't even know if it's a gift from God or something, but people tend to easily like me and click with me. So, assuming your sister Chidera hates you so much, do you think she has the right to? Certainly, yes. In fact, I think she does. I mean, who wouldn't after all of cost her? You know, every morning and night I just go on my nails and I pray to God to just protect my sister for me. I want nothing more in this world but to see her again and tell her how sorry I am. Wow, who do we have here? My fiancé's partner, huh? Nancy, how may I help you? Oh, you know my name. I'm sure your boss must have told you so much about me. Yep, pretty much. Good. I'm also sure he told you how so much in love we are and how we intend to get married very soon. Not really. He told me the only reason why he puts up with your stupid, arrogant attitude is because you make him feel so great in bed. And he's not the only person you satisfy. If I go around sleeping with different men, all in the name of you enjoying your position as a bank manager. He also told me that he caught you on top of another man in bed, and to date you have no regrets to that action. This will actually blow your mind. He told me the only reason why he comes to you for sex is not because he loves you, but just because of some far away in Cameroon. You want me to go on with your stupid love life story? You want to carry on with the business you know how to do best. You're just a stupid, jealous bitch who needs to go get herself a man to satisfy her stupid honey ass. Forget it. It's just a boyfriend drama issue. I know how to handle her time. Well. Hot dogs and ice cream. It's in the car. Where's my daddy? Jenny, he's in a meeting, so he asked me to come pick you up. And you also said I shouldn't go out with strangers. Jenny! Anyone other than him is a stranger, so before I go with you, I need a confirmation. Jenny, how? I don't know. You should know. After how he sent you, probably through the phone. Okay, pick it up and call him yourself. He's not picking up, right? Fine. I told you he's in a meeting. Jenny, stop this and let's go. Go where? Where are we going to? You said my dad is in a meeting. I thought you guys work together. Why are you not in a meeting too? Jenny, yes, because I have finished my meeting. This is his own project. So why did he have to send you or all people to come and pick me up? Why didn't he send the school or call the company driver? Jenny, we never thought of that because you were already late. Oh, I know. I believe that you are the one that suggested you should come and pick me up. Miss Goody Goody, I know what you're trying to do to win my dad's heart. But I assure you that before you do that, you are no way winning or deceiving me. Sweetheart. 
are you okay? Are you alright? I've been trying to reach uh, Miss Cindy, but I, I couldn't get her. The network was very terrible. I thought she said you were in an important meeting. Yes, darling, I was. I am, even. Then what are you doing here? Yeah, I just went out to call you right now. So why did you just step out to pick the calls? Honey, I didn't see the calls. I was in the meeting. I, that, that might be probably when I was um, doing my presentation. And moreover, my phone was on silent. Look at it. See? See it now? Oh, it wasn't... Excuse me, why am I even explaining all this things to you? What's, what's your problem? Daddy. Daddy. Yes? I don't know why you are doing this to me. Why did you tell me you weren't coming to pick me? Why did you have to send me Cindy? How will I come and pick you at school when I'm busy in the meeting right now? Didn't Miss Cindy explain that to you? You don't have time for me again. Dad, why? Listen to me, darling. Don't start this. Remember, you're a big girl. You're, you're a strong girl. You're, you're the only one, only daughter that can console daddy. Remember? You said that with this when Miss Cindy came into our lives. I don't like her. She's taking you away from me. <sighs> okay. Jenny, tell me, what do you want? Daddy, please break up with her. Whoa, whoa, hello. Hello, relationship expert. Since when have you become that? Huh? And who told you you've got the right to tell me who to go out with and who to break up with? No, no, no. No, Dad. Not that. People only fall in love once and after that, no more love. You loved Mommy once and I believe she also loved you. She's coming back for you one day. Thank you. Thanks for that wonderful speech. Hmm? Number one, we'll talk about this later. And secondly, you've got no right to tell me about my relationship. Hmm? So stay cool. Whenever I need your assistance, your help, your input, I will call you. Hmm? Right now, excuse me, I have to go for a meeting. Thank you. Talk to you later. Madame. Trust me, you know what? <laughs> it's not as easy as I thought. Jenny's a handful, she's a sweet little girl, and she will not give up anything for her dad. That's expected. I mean, she's all he's known her whole life. So, what of Jay? Jay is fine, he's not much of a trouble. I mean, he's completely falling head over heels in love with me. I mean, <laughs> so if he finds all the real me, I'm sure he'll give up anyone for Jamie. Easy, darling. Everything will fall into place, okay? Just take it easy with yourself. Oh, yes. I wish you know. I just wish everything would be over and done with. Patience, sweet. Patience, okay? So, how is your sister and friend, Chinelo? Yeah, she's fine, you know. I mean, I have, a, I have all this mixed up feeling about her. At the same time, I just wish she would pay for all the things she and my mom has made me go through. <laughs> you man mind. There are look at you trying to get someone to forgive you and you can't even forgive someone else. So what do you want me to do? Should you just forgive her? Just like that? Sweetie, you know I can't lie to you. I'm not there and you need someone to, you know, take you to all Listen, darling, just forgive her for what is worth you all we are young, silly. I made your own mistake, so just forgive her, okay? But I know they've made me go through all of this. I mean, she and my mom. So do you want me to forgive them just like that? Why don't you do that and you see how everything will fall into place? Like they say, blood is thicker than water. She's your blood and you can't change that fact, remember? I got your point. I just wish I could just wake up one day and all this will fall back to normal. So you know what? Just tell her and let me know when you tell her, okay? And remember, do take very good care of yourself, okay? Love you. Baby, are you okay? Have you had dinner? Baby, baby, sweetheart, come over here, turn, turn to your daddy. Baby, hey, now listen, I'm, I'm really sorry about what happened today. Hmm? No, I didn't neglect you. I wouldn't do that. You come first in my heart before any other, other, other person else. 
Hmm? You hear me? But Dad, we give excuse a lot of times, especially now that we send you down. <clears throat> it's not about Miss Cindy, it's not about her at all. The issue here is that uh, workload actually just tripled or, you know, at work, so I really have to keep up. But you have been busy before, so why is it worse? I just say it's worse now, darling. Now, let me tell you something. You see, <clears throat> sweetheart. Um, Miss Cindy actually came in from Cameroon and she's very, very good in what she's doing. Very excellent, smart and intelligent. And Daddy needs to keep up, if not even better, as I do always. Because if I'm not, if I don't do that, I'll be tagged, you know, an unserious person. And you wouldn't want that to happen to your Daddy, right? So that's it basically. And then also, I'm in the midst of all those things, I'm so grateful to God for giving me a very beautiful, an intelligent daughter like you, and then also your mom, because uh, without her, I wouldn't have seen you. So I really appreciate that, you know? and I love you so much from the depth of my heart. You know? Well, now uh, for Miss Cindy, let's say um, I'll still keep my fingers crossed, you know? and then see how it goes at the end of the day. Well, since you said we only need to love once. So are you saying you don't love her? That's not what I'm actually saying though, but all I'm saying here is I love you, baby. You come first, second, third in my life, and your mother is still somewhere in my head and in my heart. Let's say she comes, what, fifth and sixth. That's just what I meant. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. I knew you would understand. Mommy is coming back soon. Okay. Why did you say that? Because I'm old enough. Wherever she is, or whatever made her run away, she could have come back to her senses. Well, um, what if she she doesn't? Then you officially love another person. Okay, so for how long are we talking about here? Let's see, a year. A what? <laughs> okay, see, a, I've prayed for this. Mm -hmm. God answers little children's prayers faster. She's coming back before then. Okay, no problems. Let's just hope so. Well, for the meantime, whatever you say, darling, it's okay by me. Just no problems. As long as, long as you're happy, I'm good. Dad, I'm really sorry for my actions earlier. I've really said bad things to me, Cindy. It's okay, darling. No problems about it. <clears throat> it's okay. All you need to do is to just pick up the phone and you call me Cindy. She would understand. I'll do just that. Yeah. Dad... Can we invite her tomorrow for lunch? Yes. As long as it's Saturday. Oh, sure. That's beautiful. That would be nice. Oh, that's my daughter. Okay, um, I've got something for you. Hold on a bit. Close your eyes. Tight. Close it tighter. Tighter. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> that's good, Helen. Oh, add that to your collection. Say hi to me. Say hi. Say hi. That's great. So, what would you name it? Oh, uh, let's say Miss Cindy. Why Miss Cindy? Why? Because she's intelligent, nice, and pretty. Oh, wow. 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 <laughs> I wish she's here. She would have been happy. Great. That's good. So, tell me more. Remember when she helped me trick one of my friends? Oh. Wow, she did that? Hmm, so what are you not telling me? Go ahead and say it. Mm. Cindy, how are you? Hey, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. My dad told me you weren't feeling so well, so how are you now? 
I'm fine. God has been faithful. About this afternoon, I'm sorry for all those bad words I said to you. Don't worry. I should be the one saying sorry to you. I'm expecting your dad and I bump into you. But that's okay. I hope I'm not going to be punished because if it's my dad, he's going to punish me. Stop it! <laughs> <laughs> Why are you laughing? It's my dad. He just hits me for sipping him out. Tell dad not to hit you again, okay? Once there. So, since you're okay with me, can you come over tomorrow to have lunch with us? Yeah, I just want to leave you guys to spend your Saturdays together. I feel like I'm choking you guys up. But I thought you said you are forgiving me. Yes. So, come over. Okay. I will. Thanks for that. Hold on for my dad. Hello, sunshine. Nancy, what are you doing in my house? I mean, why didn't you call to inform me that you'll be here? Hello. What is wrong with you? What is wrong with me? Weren't you the person who asked Jenny to invite me over for lunch? Afternoon, Auntie Nancy. I'm glad you could make it. Yes, baby, I bought you a chocolate. You can have that. Thanks. Come right in. Go to show yourself. What did you do? Why did you invite Auntie Nancy in the house when you knew that Cindy would be coming back home? You'd be coming to the house. Because Auntie Cindy didn't sound convinced that she was going to make it and because she was sick. Because she was sick? Now who told you? Who told you, baby? Auntie Cindy has given us her word and she'll be here in no time. And I told you that. Is everything alright over there? Yes, Auntie. We'll be with you in a second. Dad, Auntie Nancy likes you, but I don't like the way you are treating her. You always teach me how to be nice to people. Yeah, and I also taught you how to select your friends, didn't I? I taught you that. And she is someone I have cancelled as my friend. I don't like her at all. I don't like her. Yeah, I don't like Miss Cindy, but you always force me to be nice to her. Maybe me? When did I do that? You don't like me, Cindy. Now listen, tell me one thing, baby. One thing, not two things. One thing you don't like about Miss Cindy. I'm listening. I'm all ears. You see? You can see anything, right? No, very well then. Let me tell you. One thousand and one things I don't like about Nancy. She is arrogant. She is She's disrespectful to daddy. She is bussy. She is annoying at the same time. She, she just breaks me in bits and pieces. I don't know. Dad, our guest is waiting. And we don't want to be aggressive as we. Well. <laughs> you know, it's so good. I enjoyed that first outing like hell. <laughs> Your dad is such a fun person to be with, baby. <laughs> Why are you checking your phone, Jay? No. Yes. No? No, actually, we just we are just checking when the food will be ready. Oh, oh. the food. Who is making the food? Mrs. Cynthia. Oh wow, Mrs. Cynthia. Ah, so she's still alive. She would have been dead a long time ago. You would have just called me up to do the cooking for us. Thanks, but Mrs. Sinta can handle it. Oh, no problem. Uh, because she would have just, uh, she must have lost her taste since she's old. I'll get it. No, no don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. Did I hurt you? No. Did I? No. Baby. I, I, I hope I'm not just like you know. I woke up this morning, mm -hmm. I had to go do some groceries, mm -hmm. clean up my room, check my clothes, the cleaners. Mm -hmm. I know. Hey, what's that? <laughs> it's just a 
show you how much I really love you. From the depth of my heart, so deep down there. That's where your love sits. And it's so heavy. <laughs> Very heavy. <laughs> come inside, come inside, come inside. But you've got to be strong, you know? Just... No, you would just like notice. Oh, how stupid! I knew this girl who is always after my man was going to come here. But you should have waited until I've gone. Your sight irritates me, you know. Hi, Jenny! Anyway, thanks for the compliment. Jenny! Thanks so much for inviting me for lunch today. I'm sure it's going to be a great one. Thanks, Miss Cindy, for making it. Baby, did you actually invite her over also? She's equally my dad's friend. Your dad's friend? Or your dad's partner at the office? I thought partners end up only in the office and not at home. What's this, Nancy? What are you saying? What do you want to create? What's this? It's just a mere lunch. A mere lunch? Oh, hell no. With her here, it is not going to be a favorable one, okay? Janie, um, when is this lunch going to be ready? I'm starving. It's already ready. This way. <laughs> Let's see, guys. Um, maybe you watch them. No one. Oh my God, it's beautiful. There you go, darling. There you go. Awesome. Oh, great. Uh -huh. And there I go. Don't, maybe don't worry, I'm coming Please. over. Daddy's coming over to serve you. We need to create. Oh, darling, this hold on a bit. Please. Hold on. Okay, baby. Why did I do that to you? I'm sorry about that. Huh? My bad. Thank My you. bad. Oh, great. Okay, baby. That's <laughs> gonna serve you. Why did you scream? <laughs> I do that. You crushed it, you know. You invited everybody to come over, so uh, it's a great one. Hold it. Can we pray, please? In Jesus' name. Dear Lord, thank you for giving us food. And thank you for giving me, Jay, to take care of me and his lovely daughter. Also, thank you for bringing Cindy into this picture. You've actually showed me that how Jay could be loving Dear Lord, thank you for also teaching me never to give up on what is mine and always to fight for what is right. Thank you for answering our prayers. In Jesus' mighty name. Eat, baby. There you go. <laughs> Let's eat. Let's eat. That's great. That's great. There you go, baby.
The food was superb. Thanks. So, Jay, when are you coming over to my house? Let me be your host this time. At least you can come with Jenny. Please, I'll think about that. What are you thinking about? You know how good my food tastes. So, please. Can we play a game, please, please, please? What game? I'm not into all those childish stuffs. Okay, I give up. Nothing to do. I wish my mom were here. At least she could have entertained us better. Hey, baby. Your mother is never going to come back again, okay? All you need now to do is pray for your daddy and I to get married and take very good care of you. She could go be there for all you know. How dare you say that to my daughter? What's wrong with you, Nancy? No, don't hush me, please. Someone needs to tell her the truth. She needs to wake up from her slumber, okay? Back to reality. I should have married you a long time ago. Now that I have a competitor, a schema and a slot for that matter. Nancy, what if, who you What's that? What's that for? That's in bad taste. Who? You, girl. Dumb head. Are you trying to play dumb with me? Now listen, Nancy. Listen to me, babe. If you don't respect yourself, I'll be forced to send you out of my house right now. Jay, this minute. no need to worry your head. Hi, Jane. Thanks so much for the lunch. I really appreciate it, okay? I'll see you guys later. Later, Jay. Baby, come. Do this. Don't just go because of this, baby. Baby, excuse me, baby, please, please. Baby, honey, don't go because of this. Jay, I, I am always around here, you know that. I just need to go home and clear my head. You can come around later. Honey, hold on. I love you. You know, I love you so much. Don't allow that. That thing cost me. Anything in between us, please. So cherish what we share together. I love you, honey. Please, come in. Please, don't be a beg of you. Please. Where's my daughter? She ran out immediately. And you, what are you doing here? Waiting for you, Jay. We need to talk. Talk about what? About us. You see, Jay, this is the first time in the last five months that we're really seeing together. At least one on one. So I think we need to talk. Let's know the way forward. Okay. I'm all ears. I'm listening. Yeah, Jay. I want to really know what's happening between you and I and then you and Cindy. Because if it's for the last guy you caught me with, I think you've gotten the revenge of all that. Listen to yourself talk. Just listen to you talk. Do you know, I used to think you're more enlightened than this. But just this minute, I've realized that you're numbskull, stupid and useless. You act less than Jenny's mate. Don't insult me. I've long rejected list of guys because I thought we had something together. Something together. I, Jay, Nancy, have something together. What makes you think we have anything to do together? What makes you think we've got a future together? And what makes you think that I hear, Jay, will have anything to do with your fall for you. I never thought of that. And even if I had thought of that before, you know what? What has happened? I think I will change my mind. And I've just changed my mind so, right now in this minute. So, for the record, get out of my house. Get out of my house right now! Oh, hold on, Jay. It hasn't gotten to all that, okay? Since you've decided to be a dumb ass like you've always been, I'm going to get myself another man like yesterday. Dumb ass. I'm 
sorry. I'm the one to be sorry. I thought this lunch would go well. I meant no harm. Oh, it's okay. It's alright. I understand that you actually meant no harm. I hurt Miss Cindy badly. First, I told her bad words and brought her for lunch to mock her. Oh, look. It's alright, then. Um, Auntie Cindy would understand. She would understand quite okay that you've, you've, you've meant no harm and you've got good intentions for that. Daddy, I think you should get married, like Auntie Nancy said. Fall in love and get married. Mommy might never come back. She might be dead. Make all the necessary corrections. Okay. Sir. I need to my table first thing tomorrow morning. Okay. Sir. Huh? Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Uh, uh, sir, excuse me. Do you have a minute or two? I, I have something to discuss with you. Something that has to do with my heart. What? Please, sir. Uh, yes. 